Jiffy's gang Omni Slash off. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or they do just go for this like Wraith King tank all spells and live. Yeah, yeah it's it is Yasa. Yeah. They want it. They want the like it. the objective taking pace. That's probably the most competitive for Polaris and for Boom. Uh, you still see Opaj keeping up in CS, so he's not completely behind, but again, Lelouch has a much easier time clearing out that creep wave. No oh, bot lane. Skem gonna be first blooded here as Xavius able to take the- If TMV can't keep him back, they don't really have stuns here on the side of Polaris as well, so they can't even play like aggressively with spin, and TMV has to be careful. He does. They're gonna move in. They'll secure the killers now, Natsumi. I don't think the spin's gonna work in his favor. He does. Tim says six. Oh, gonna nice be very comfortable. Yeah, Yopaj, he gets the haste rune, gonna try and keep moving in as Lelouch is gonna try to fight back, but Yopaj, just standing on the staircase, having the high ground, is with the haste rune, he'll just keep going, on to Xavius, they should eventually have the keeper, as Lelouch gonna show himself once again, Yopaj, he might go for a bit of a cheeky chase, but Lelouch trying to juke him out, and does kind of do so, free lane. Yeah, he's just left alone, he knows there's no kill trap, oh, because there's no stun fall through, huh? Teams. He's so good at setting up here on the Shaman. Just finds the easiest Keeper of the Light kill in his life. Up in the jug, but not quite seeing what Natsumi wants to queue up yet. Oh, top lane, Natsumi, speaking of the Devil John, he has been caught out and does get taken down. FBZ able to set up with just the Battery Sword and Cogs. Now the fight begins, but they've got the Serpents to drop as Yopaj. He's been targeted, hook shot, it's off the mark, but it may not matter. The Void Spirit still finding a way out somehow, but the Orb will follow Ooh. him down. Nice the Remnant by Yopaj, he's out of there. Meanwhile, they've got the Marcy held down. The Force is going to keep trying to go for this fight against Tims and eventually does rebound out. It's FBZ, he'll try for a TP, but Lelouch able to pick up a double kill on the puck. So even though they miss out on the Void Spirit, they still do get away with another. In fact, Yopaj was actually in a spot of danger as Natsumi. Has that and there's still no solution. You are catching up with Lelouch. Like our puck, his rotations have been successful. Uh, Witchblade already up, the damage is there. Tim's in danger. They'll drop the tombstone just in case they burst down Tim's. So FBZ now gonna try and force the fight with the curse out, but oh, it's on a creep. Bit of a misplay out from Skem. He's not happy about it. Still a nice hook shot into the cogs out, but Force, he's gonna survive. The hills out from TMV keeping him up as they'll take down the clockwork onto Skem. They'll get the Wyvern, and now poor old Jackie. He's in the middle of all this. He'll run past the tier 2, but Force is going to follow him down as now the Omni will be committed. Polaris able to really clean up in the mid lane and, well, boom, esports. Getting caught with the pants. Just kidding, Lane. Don't, don't, don't get mad. Just wanted to give him a shout out. He's a fun guy. I'll say it, Johnny. He probably is an agent agent this game. Let's look at this. <laughs> Under the void spirit, they go. They should have him. Dream is not going to last long enough. In fact, FBZ, he hook shot him, but he hits the void. So Yopaj goes down, and now FBZ on the boss 3 clock. He's gonna follow soon after, I think. Though a nice curse is out, at least finding the Marcy. FBZ gonna keep trying to run. The Illuminate will not connect, but TMB is on the chase with a soul rip up very soon, but just can't find the angle for the clock. Now they certainly should realize they are ahead. Probably in their best interest not to slow down too much here against this Battle Furiosa, as they might find FBZ. Coil is there onto the clockwork, holds him down, silence him up. Jackie's gonna try and come in and help out by killing off TMB and does find him. That'll be one for one. That might just be enough though. Polaris, maybe still going. They found the puck. Lelouch. That's a massive pick off for Boom. And Roshan, it's up. Yep, they go in. He certainly is. This could be a great pick off here for Polaris if they could catch him. He does have Aegis up and Skem's actually gonna scout everyone out. He breaks the smoke on the Wyvern. Very nice positioning there from Skem as Yopaj is going to try and come in. Catch out the puck. There's your Hex out, Tims. He might be able to hold him down, but no, there's the Dispose there. On to the, the Shaman as he is gone. Hook was off the mark as well from FBZ. So maybe Polaris, they can keep this fight going if they really want to. But it doesn't seem like they will. They'll accept the two kills that they got and, and the buyback, of course, from Skem. And that so about 1.4k gold. Once that's up, you should get going. What could Solarbine is there on the Ursa? They've got a BKB available on Force. They're going to try and move in and scam. Once again, getting caught out straight off the bat. Is FBZ, he has his own awkward up down. They got the Hex out. Onto the puck. Tombstone down as well. In fact, they'll find the Marcy, but she does have rebound. Force, he's going to keep trying to move in here. With the sidekick and the unleash. Back in onto Yopaj, who actually goes in with the actual step, but is going to get punished. 
not expecting the orchid out from Xavius. He will go down. And so it started off... Maybe that's the idea for Polaris. Maybe just keep trying to buy more time. Yeah, I mean, you could try to keep stalling out for Natsumi. I think the one issue of stalling out against the Ursa is the time will don't. X out. Tim's not going to catch the puck, but he's got the Marcy. Leilush, they're going to move in with a silence of his own. On to that Shaman. He will get one. Now the curse out from Skem to hold the couple down. Jackie's going to move in here along with FBZ, trying to get those kills going. They will find the Keeper into the Marcy. Molly Lush, he's still chasing. Popping a couple of those spells in the middle. And Polaris now gets to just play patient. They hold the high ground. They haven't spotted out these wards. So there's also information here from Boom, although. FBZ, he's been caught out. He'll get an awkward off onto Leilouge, but he's going to cop the Illuminate into the Dispose, but here comes Jackie, and that's a very nice curse out from Skem. They get the Keeper. Force, he will rebound out in time. Keep in mind, Roshan is up. Smoke up as three. Leilouge should be the target they really wanted the puck, but instead they might have to settle for Xavius, who does run right past him. Oh, oh, he no. just recalled! Natsumi's going to immediately spin out of there. But my god, that could have ended in a real disaster. Had they not been lucky. ZFBZ in the meantime has been caught out on the clockwork, but is going to be able to hook shot right back in onto the puck. Leilouche going to be saved by the Aeon Disc for now, but the Aether Remnant is going to lock him down. They'll even have an Orchid out. That'll be the puck's life gone. That'll also be Roshan's life gone to the side of Boom Esports. That's a big set of kills all under the Observe Ward of the Radiant. Seems like the focus from Boom is in the mid lane of Polaris, and as they do back their way out and go for a smoke. Bot lane is set up here on Jackie. They've got Leilouche around with Xavius to make the jump in. Problem is he does have two lives and a BKB and the Enrager. They'll make the jump in though. One life is going to go down. A nice start for Polaris. The curse, not really doing too much, but they do take down TMB. Now Tim's to go down, but Jackie is right in. Has he gone a bit too far though? It does seem like it. And they are going to be forced to back out of here as Polaris. They're the ones trying to punish. In fact, they even found Yopage in the tree line. He was underneath vision. He's going to drop in the Void Spirit. Uh, control backing off at the right times, knowing that everyone's kind of clumped up on both sides. And you don't want to jump into Boom. Boom doesn't want to jump into you. They can afford to kind of put the whole shot. FBZ, he does block the way with the Cogs out now as well, so the Jug's in big trouble. They'll get the Hex out, Natsumi needs some help, but the Shackles is there to lock him down. Very nice setup there by FBZ. So try to move in onto Force, but he'll rebound away. Instead, Yopage will try for a chase onto Leilouche. We'll find Force instead. No Aether Remnant to come out, though, as they do have the Silence, and now the Ethereal Blade. That kind of messes up Jackie. Mm. Yeah, maybe a bit of a mistake there coming out from Boom. Just not quite coordinated. That does allow Force to back off. But the push still continues. Wards are still there, although... Leilouche does find one. Nice pick up there by the Puck as they will try to hold him down with the Remnant. But Aeon Disc is going to protect as Leilouche. He's going to try to orb his way out of there and eventually should be able to. But Yopaj, he'll keep going with the chase out. Another Aether Remnant available here for the Void Spirit. But he won't bother any further. It's back into the mid tier 3, or rather the mid racks. They already got the tier 3 tower down. Hook shot in FBZ right on target. Has the coddle. That'll be Xavius down, but he'll buy back immediately. Problem is, Jackie already halfway through that mid racks. Is probably going to get away with it. I don't think. Fight. If you can constantly isolate Natsumi, who tries to act as bait like that, things can go very, very awkward for players Jackie, fast. He's right in. TMV's already gone here, John. Hook shot off the mark, though. Nice setup here by Force onto the clockwork, but FBZ. He'll pop his own BKB out. It's now Force. He'll get stunned up by the Abyssal of Jackie, but a nice rebound away. He's barely going to oh, make no. it for now. Force is out, but they've lost Savius and they've lost Natsumi. Bit of a mess here for Polar. Boom. They should know they could just go all the way for the end. Four towers under siege. Polaris, they're the ones who need to find a way to defend this. Hookshot is there. FBZ gonna finally lose on the puck. He'll try to use it off, but the Aether Remnant gonna hold him down. Leilu's got no buyback either. So boom, they'll really just go for the jugular here. You've got one undying, and now you've got another Marcy, but they've called the GG. They've had enough. Boom Esports, they'll confidently take this one 2-0. Of course, Jonathan, they were, uh, they still don't look quite as clean as they once did on the side of Boom. I, I don't think we can lie about that, but well, Polaris, they weren't good enough today to go up against this team. Yeah, not, not quite 
<laughs> matching Boom's aggression. You can see how happy Boom is finding that clean two order. First actual two wool this tour as well. So maybe a bit of a confidence boost for Boom. I mean, this this was pretty well executed, though, right?